What's cracking, guys? And the big man himself, Charlie, aka Moist Critical, aka Penguins Zero, or however you want to actually say it, <laughs> has made a video of things he hates about anime. I look up to this man. He is a fine specimen of a human being. You could say he's the peak of human anatomy and that just by even watching him, merely mentioning Charlie's name, your dick grows by at least two inches. It works. He has made a video. A video that even he himself, the anime Jesus, if you will, protagonist, yeah. protagonist himself, is afraid of. And that's making a video about anime itself. It's something even as me, an anime creator, a content creator, is afraid of making. Anything that I discuss could just get ripped apart at a moment's notice. So let's watch a little bit of the video and uh, let's give some thoughts on it. But you're not here for me. Why would you subscribe to Lost Paws when you can subscribe to Moist Critical? Let's see this video right here and now. Let's let's take a look at it. They always say war is hell, but I think war is child's play compared to an argument with a weeb. I also recently learned about antimatter and it's the only thing in the universe that releases 100% of its energy in like this devastating explosion. And that's also wrong because Weebs do that too when they find out that you don't like their favorite waifu. Again, that's him stating nothing but facts. If I see anyone even attempting to attack him for stating that anime fans are not wild, that we are just normally individuals, that's just wrong. We know that we're messed up. We know that we get defensive of our waifus. And we know that, yes, we can get very toxic. I know. Things can get very ugly when you criticize or talk about anime negatively. Expect an unholy, diabolical meltdown on Twitter attacking you for weeks for it. He is not wrong. I literally made a tweet, and I've deleted it now, joking how Jujutsu Kaisen Opening is very similar to Naruto's, having a team of three, having a Kakashi white-haired sensei kind of look-alike. But then there's a demon trapped inside the kid too. They have to go to some weird specialized school. He's an orphan. There is so much in common with Naruto here. Not saying that they're similar, but I just pointed that out as a joke. Not that I even care to compare them because they're both good in their own rights. Man, did Twitter get... But heard over that, and they started even saying some bad things like, man, white people say stupid crap. Can you believe that these guys say that? Like, I'm like, oh my god, Twitter is absolutely toxic. I understand why he even fears to mention anime. They will attack you over anything. Twitter anime fans, probably the worst kinds of anime fans. I still, to this day, have not heard the end of how wrong I am for not liking JoJo's part 3 and 4 as much as I liked parts 1 and 2. And I mentioned that a single time in a video over a year ago. So let that dish sink in. For what it's worth, I just finished part 5, that dish slapped. Part 5 was great. Just a quick little thing on JoJo, uh, he's correct. Parts 1 and 2, fantastic. I also loved part 3, that was one of my favorite parts. Part 4, you know, that fell off hard for me. But part 5, slapped. Need to watch part six. I'll get there. I watch a lot of anime. You could probably guess that just by taking a single glance at me. If I walk by you in public, you would probably assume that I watched anime just by the way I look. I mean, just look at me here. You don't even have to look at me. You just need to look around me. I'm done. And you probably already know what I'm going to bring up. It's anime's fixation on making all of the characters kids or very kid-like for no reason. And here is the main thing that he's talking about, and I kind of agree with him, halfway. It's, it's pretty common. It happens a lot, too much. Makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Wrestles my jimmies. Don't like it. Now I'm not specifically talking about lollies. I'm sure you know what lollies are. If you don't, hey, you know, all power to you. Your innocence is intact. He goes on a little bit to say it's not specifically lollies or shodas or whatever. He's just focused on lollies there and explains what they are. I'm sure if you're watching me, um, you're a little bit more weeb, a little bit more cultured. You know what that is. You can watch his video if you want the explanation. It's not accurate, but <laughs> it's it's pretty close. That dish is always going to be weird to me, but it's not even exactly what I'm focusing on here. I'm talking about in the shows where they just actually outright make them children. But yeah, if you look at pretty much any mainstream shonen anime out there, all the protagonists 
or about 15 years old or 17 in that age. None of them are really over the age of 18. Heck, even Joe Taro is 17 by some boggling conundrum when he's introduced. How is that specimen of a human being who smokes cigarettes a 17 year old that makes zero sets what is that he's beautiful it's just the power of anime i suppose tokyo revengers it's a show i really like it's a show i moist metered recently the first season wrapped up i gave it like a 90 percent. i thought the show was fantastic but in the show all of the characters are middle schoolers and it does nothing for the plot they're middle schoolers but you never see their parents their schools don't have any effect on the plot at all. Sometimes they'll be in school, but they immediately leave. So it's not like an integral to the plot at all. Most of the time they just don't go. And that's not even a plot point. Like, oh, I'm skipping school. I'm fucking dope and breaking rules. I'm a bad boy. It is literally them just middle schoolers, but they're basically just adults anyway. They have motorcycles that they ride around. They get in gang fights and shit like that. So the question becomes, why make them middle schoolers? Why keep driving home this idea that these characters are 14 and 15? See, that is where he brings up his best points here. Yes, when it has no bearing on the plot at all, I think that's stupid that they're like Joe Taro 17. He could have easily been 30 years old and nothing would have changed, okay? I don't know why they decided to make him 17. That's just so weird. And he's still doing all the adult stuff anyway. It's so bizarre. But then again, it's JoJo's bizarre. So I guess maybe that's why that one gets a pass. But then you get all those isekai anime trash that's out there. And you got like these middle-aged men getting like reincarnated into femboy little younging like lolly looking bodies like no matter what it's just gets weird from there because they have the mindset of like an older guy but then they're in this younger body and that just makes things clearly uncomfortable they could have just been normal from the start i i don't know just like be up age to whatever they were before and that would be perfectly fine and less weird Especially in a fantasy setting where schools and other things don't really matter. I mean, Anime Jesus making good points out here. That's all I'm saying. Trying to back up my boy. It just makes it really weird when they do adultish. Like one of the girls trying to fuck one of the guys and she's in like her bra and panties about to have sex. It's weird because they've drilled into you that these are all middle schoolers around here. But they didn't need to be. These could have very easily just been adults that's another good point you know they're doing all the adult stuff and hey you know guess what we're just gonna drill into your head that they're all just this younglings and stuff like that they didn't really need to be could have had the same story the same setting and you know be just as powerful you know if it's not used as a plot why do it that makes a lot of sense to me if it is not integral to the plot that this kid gets into this adult situation then why is it in the story? That's always been my pet peeve, especially in just like normal movies where, you know, like you're having this great scene, great tension, buildups, chase, things go down. And then all of a sudden, for no specified reason, guy has a fluff scene with a lady. And it's like, why is that? Why is that in there? I mean, it's good to look at, but it takes me away from like the cool moments in the story. And I'm like, this, this didn't need to be in here. It's good to look at though. But if I wanted to get my jollies off, I would just go watch some off-brand rather than watching some movie that I wanted just for entertainment purposes. Anime does happen to have a lot of gratuitous fan service for the sake of just needing to have fan service. If you took a tally of every single protagonist across every anime ever made, I'd wager about 85% of all main characters in anime are 15 years old. That is the most common age of every character of every major anime, it feels like. But it never plays a role in anything. You know, it's not like that's ever an actual point in these shows. Like, oh, oh I can't go to this gang fight because I have to go do my algebra homework. Otherwise, my parents are going to spank me. Yeah, man, you don't want Deku's mom taking away his PlayStation because he was late for algebra class at My Hero Act. <laughs> no, but seriously, it makes sense in My Hero because they're young heroes growing up to be heroes. It makes sense in that setting. And he goes on to say that, yes... Obviously, it makes sense in some settings, and I think My Hero is a good place for that. He also brings up the classic good anime of Shonen, Assassination Classroom. That was high stakes, and it made a lot of sense there, you know? Even though the show itself is kind of ridiculous in its own right, but I digress. That's just anime. It's not meant to, made, 
to make sense, all right? It's made to entertain. I'm sure you can think of a lot of examples out there where characters were just young for the sake of just being young. Where they didn't really have to be, but for whatever reason, they just were. And most of those anime tend to be very forgettable. Mostly because, well, they just had plot points just because. And those are the ones that don't really stick around. For example, Naruto makes a lot of sense because it's a young ninja, he goes through the ninja school to become one of the best ninjas, and later on the ninja school becomes completely irrelevant in Shippuden, and he starts doing more adult, like, darker tasks that go on in the ninja world. It makes sense. I'm sure you're sick and tired of all those teenagers have to be the ones to save the world, just because. Like in Infinite Stratos, where it has to be teenage girls to go into robot suits. I know, right? It's just for the sake of plot. It's it's cringe, okay? It, I know it's cringe. And what really prompted me to make this video, or make me want to make this video over the last week or so, is I'm watching a, a currently airing anime called Platinum End, and it's dog-ish. It, it is an actual pair of bull nuts. It's terrible. Moist Critical then goes on to explain Platinum End and his distaste of it. He knows it's dog crap, but he's watching it because it's Death Note's maker. He made it, you know? And he's going off on a character that's inside of it that, um... Well, you know, he makes people do bad things, namely young kids do bad things, and it's just makes it very weird. And I understand that. Here is where I'm going to draw the line and be like, okay, yes, in this context, it really didn't need to be that way. It could have been anything else. And we do have to draw the point that yes, this is fiction. They're not real people. And he discusses that in the video and I get it. Like I am accepting of the fact that this is fiction. You can make whatever you want to make a good story. And you know, like if it includes like these kids getting to bad situations and it progresses the story and makes it more interesting. Like I'm all for that. I am not about that censorship of like, you know, just because they're underage cartoon characters that you can't have them do anything that revolves adults stuff because that stuff kind of happens IRL but they're just staring there just tell the story to make a narrative to make it more interesting I think that's absolutely fine but again Charlie's issues here is just like when it's not part of the narrative just makes it weird. <laughs> I understand they're not real kids or anything, but that doesn't make it any less creepy. It just makes it weird and he just wants to point out that it is very weird seeing this sometimes as a fully a grown man. And now as a kid, I thought this was great because you know, they were all my age. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is great. But now as a full grown man, um, I'm like, well, this, this, this doesn't really fit me anymore. There is plenty of etchy animes featuring lots of big booba girls. Thank the lords. Love you anime creators. But sometimes you get some weird stuff in there and yeah, it's it's weird. He's just bringing home these points really well. It's just creepy. I understand. It's meant to make you uncomfortable. It's doing its job, but at the same time, does it need to be that? <laughs> he makes valid points here and I understand. It's almost secondhand embarrassment for being a weeb and sometimes I feel like I become numb to some of this stuff because I've seen so much of it but maybe it's just because I grew up with it maybe I'm more forgiving of it I don't know now, I'm not saying every single anime has to be like 40 year old grizzled war veterans for characters or anything but there's a lot of shows where them being kids is just a completely useless plot point and it because it doesn't actually play a role in the plot and I'm glad he's saying like not every character has to be 40 year old grizzled veteran okay he's making sense here you know like I don't want to see 40 year old grizzled veterans in every single anime I like the variety of different things coming around everywhere all right but I am getting sick of saying just teenagers do everything okay I'm just saying I'm just saying there's a lot of shows where the characters are kids just because they wanted to make them children for no reason but then they still want them to like fucking things which makes it really uncomfortable to watch there are really just so many shows where I'll sit there and watch it and I'm like damn this is a good show and then it's like but why are they kids what was the point what did that add to this I just don't really get it and that's just my main thing I don't like about anime. It's not like I'm over here, you know, slapping a Bible and saying we gotta ban anime because the, you know, think of the kids or whatever, but it is weird. Like it is just kind of embarrassing. I'm glad he's not slapping the Bible on all of us. He's just here to point it out that it's weird. I do agree. Some of it doesn't need to be that way. And usually that anime kind of sinks to the bottom of the barrel of the list. And usually people go like, yeah, just don't watch that. 
<laughs> Usually not the good anime. And that's why, you know, secondhand embarrassment. There's a lot of anime out there where it's, it's not good. But there is one very big point that I do have to bring up as someone that knows a little bit more about anime. And that's the fact that, well, the Japanese, the people who consume all of this big mainstream medium happen to be the shonen demographic, which happens to be teenagers. Which, hence why you see a lot of teenage shonen protagonists. Protagonists are always around that age because that's the main demographic. They want people to be more related to and it's just been that thing that's been hammered into the manga and anime industry time and again that it's been working so if it's not broken don't fix it so they just been making more and more protagonists that are young and that's just how it is because it sells it's a different culture it's different from us so obviously they view it completely different from us so they're not just going to change what they do because of some beautiful moist american jesus saying it's a bit weird <laughs> they're, they're not gonna change it but maybe i don't know maybe maybe we could get some more different variations in anime and say like you know if it doesn't play a role in the story maybe you could just make the anime better by not including the weird bits <laughs> it's a valid criticism and i think it's good it's making a valid point here it's it's weird some of the times where it just doesn't fit into the anime and me finally being able to, I guess, co-make a video with the Moist Man itself. Well, all I have to say is really a... Whoa! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Whoa! So yeah, thank you so much, Anime Jesus. Good to have you on board. You deserve no hate. You only get love from this community out here. Thank you for, you know, allowing me to actually discuss some things myself. Yo, thank you so much for watching. Check out Moist Man himself. There's a link below in the description. And I'll catch you, beautiful sons of guns, again next time. You crazy mother...